possesses no legal effect and should therefore be dismissed. The January 18, 2012 ruling of this court, uh, Mr. Senate President, categorically validated the verification. It ruled, quote, it appears, it appearing that the filing of the verified impeachment complaint was made in accordance with paragraph 4, section 3, article 11 of the Constitution, there is no more need for a preliminary hearing to receive evidence on this matter, close quote. If there was no need to present evidence on the matter of the preliminary hearing, there is no need for uh, to present evidence on the affirmative defenses. So it is not true that it was only the motion for a preliminary hearing that was denied. It is the validity of the verification itself that was ruled upon. And the purpose, obviously, of a hearing on the uh, affirmative defenses is to have the case dismissed because of lack of uh, proper verification, which has already been ruled upon by this court on January 18, 2012. Thank you, Mr. President. If that, if that commentary, Your Honor, was made by the members of the prosecution arm, we would have no objection, Your Honor. This so is we, are, we are worried, Your Honor, mm -hmm. that this may be interpreted, Your Honor, as an argument by a prosecutor. I in take exception to the statement of uh, the prosecution of the defense counsel, and that is totally improper. We are just what reading. I am still speaking. Go ahead. Do not interrupt. Because I was just explaining the ruling of the court. May, may I request the majority floor leader to reread the ruling of this court uh, on uh, what date was it? Resolution of uh, January 18, 2012, Mr. President. Yeah, read it. <coughs> the Chief Justice claims that since the verified complaint for impeachment lacks proper or a proper verification, it should be treated as an unsigned pleading which produces no legal effect and should therefore be dismissed. I will just read the pertinent portions with the Mr. President, to continue in the resolution. During the impeachment proceedings of President Joseph Ejercito Estrada before the Senate, case number 001-2000, a motion to quash was filed by him alleging, among others, that the verification in the impeachment contract was not the verification prescribed by the Constitution. The impeachment con uh, complaint, the, the contract was uh, probably a typographical error. The impeachment court at that time found the verification to be sufficient and ruled that the perceived flaw in it was inconsequential and not fatal. Speaking through Chief Justice Elario G. Davide Jr., who was the presiding officer of that time, the impeachment court stated in a resolution dated 29 November 2000 that verification, like in most cases required, required by the rules of procedure, is a formal and not a jurisdictional requirement. It is mainly intended to, ex to secure an assurance that matters which are alleged are done in good faith or are true and correct and not of mere speculation by Miriam Defensor Santiago. There appears to be no cogent reason to depart from this ruling. On its face, there appears to be no patent or obvious defect in the verification contained in the verified impeachment complaint. The wording or content of the same is substantially in compliance with the third paragraph of Section 13 of the Rules of Procedure in Impeachment Proceedings of the House of Representatives. It is not necessary for the verification to be coached in the language of the rules of court inasmuch as this particularly wording is not strictly required by the Constitution. If this had been what was required, the Constitution would have specified the exact required wording of the verification. A verification is an oath or affirmation. Under the Constitution, there is only one instance wherein the exact form of an oath or affirmation is specified, and this is found in Section 5, Article 7, when the President, 
vice president or the acting president takes his oath or affirmation, affirmation before entering on the execution of their office. Since there is no precise wording required for the verification of a complaint in case of impeachment under paragraph 4, section 3, article 11 of the Constitution, the actual verification in the complaint as per the rules of impeachment of the House of Representatives is sufficient and adequate for the purpose. In view of all the foregoing, the motion for preliminary hearing filed by Chief Justice Renato C. Corona is denied for want of merit. January 18, 2012, <coughs> Mr. President. All right. Uh, we have discussed this uh, lengthily. May, may we recognize Senator Aloy, Mr. President, uh, before uh, The you... gentleman from uh, Makati and Bicol. Thank you, Mr. President. May I ask the defense, just what is the objective of the defense 